Hey guys, and welcome back to Piggy's World. Today's video is going to be kind of like an updates video, kind of like what's going on with Dasher video, and yeah. So yesterday, I was in my Zoom class, and I noticed that Dasher was just walking around hopelessly in the cage, kind of like pacing, and almost like tilted to one side a little bit. Like her head was kind of like leaning toward one side, her body was leaning towards one side, like she was just kind of dragging and mopey, so I was really concerned, so I took her out, and she ended up just, like, almost, like, flopping on me. Not, like, flopping, but, like, her limbs were very, like, towards one side, and it was really scary, and so I was holding her. Her eyes were, like, bulging, and I honestly had no idea what was going on, because she's six and a half years old, so... I got really nervous and so I called the vet right away and we made an appointment for her and as soon as we made the appointment I put her back in the cage and she was kind of acting almost like completely fine. So I still brought her to the vet and I was explaining all this to them how she all of a sudden just like was not responsive, her eyes were bulging, she was leaning toward one side, especially her head. And the doctor told me that she probably had a seizure. So I have to keep an eye out for her for seizures now. And it was just a very, very scary experience. But as you can see, she's fine and eating and walking fine. I mean, I think she's still kind of traumatized, honestly. But yeah, she's okay. And Reese's is drinking. Here, let's have you move a little bit towards Reese's over there. But anyways, yeah, it was just like a really, really scary experience. And I'm really glad she's doing much better. I'm like very blessed. But it was just a really scary experience. Like, she was, like, flopping on me. She was not responsive. It's like she didn't even know who I was. And it was just very scary. But Reese's is still interrupting us with drinking. Oh, boy. <laughs> so that's kind of that for the Dasher updates. Um, So I guess I just got to keep an eye out for her and... You know, make sure she is doing okay. I'm going to give the guinea pig some pea flakes. And Pebbles already senses it. She's getting, like, unnerved over there. You want a pea flake? Yeah, Pebbles loves pea flakes. Pebbles loves food. <laughs> and Dasher's coming over for a pea flake, too. And that one over there is still drinking. We'll give you some Delilah action too over here. Oh, Delilah got some hay on her head now. <laughs> Does Delilah want a pea flake? Here we go. So yeah, Delilah has been doing really well too. She's had really no bleeding episodes. She's just living a great life. And actually just the other day, I was watching because Delilah loves to look through this little crack right here. And she'll be with like Reese's or... You're interrupting us again. Anyways... She likes to look through the crack and just, like, look at Reese's and they like to sniff each other and it is just the cutest thing. And the other day, they were, like, Reese's and her were sniffing each other and all of a sudden Delilah just starts popcorning like crazy. It was, like, the cutest thing. It's like she was just so excited just to have, like, that slight interaction, which is great. So if you guys have separated guinea pigs, I highly recommend these plexiglass because they love to look through them and just interact with each other. And it just makes all the difference if your guinea pig can't get along. 
Now I think Pebbles wants another pea flake. But I was going to give Reese's one. You already had so many pebbles. You don't need any more. You already got a whole bunch of chunk. <laughs> She's just like so determined to get another one. <laughs> and in the same video, I thought I would update you on our little wrangler here. Want to say hi? You want a pea flake? You want a pea flake? <laughs> He's just the cutest little munchkin. Say hello. Come on, you want a pea flake? Wrangler doesn't know what he wants. You want a pea flake? Here. I know. Okay. Well. I don't know what you want here. Can you show everyone how you do circle? <laughs> so Wrangler is doing really well. His ringworm is clearing up really nicely. He's on medicine and everything. He doesn't have pneumonia anymore. He's just growing up to be such a big boy. He's getting so big. Huh. And he's just a ball of energy. He loves people. He loves food. We recently tried um, the dried banana chips, and he goes crazy for them. Huh. He really wants more pea flakes, but he can't have any. He can't have any. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys a little Wrangler here and how he's doing. Hopefully pretty soon we can get him neutered. Cause he is going to love the girls. Although I don't know if they could take him. He has so much energy. He loves the popcorn everywhere. And he loves his butt rubbed, which is kind of weird. <laughs> so I'm going to say that is going to be it for the update video. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked the little wrangler. Huh. The little wrangler. It is so cool to have a baby guinea pig. I haven't had a baby guinea pig in a long time. My guinea pigs are all six, five, and four years old. So it's kind of really cool to have a little baby guinea pig again. It's just full of energy and curiousness. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more guinea pig related videos. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye.